Kaufman joining us now in Studio B. You remember him. You love him. He played in the BYU secondary. His name is Brandon Bradley. Brandon, welcome to BYU Sports Howler. Nation. Glad to be here. All right, this is my this is the <laughs> question. That, that right there, that one. <laughs> this is the question I I want to get from you. I want I want to hear the answer to this one. All right. How many times a day do people ask you about your knee being down against Utah in 2010? <laughs> How often um, is that brought up? <laughs> you know what? It probably happens more than you would you would think at this point, right? Really? That was what 11 years ago. Not that. Uh, eight years ago. Eight years I don't ago. Know. Yeah, almost eight, eight years, years ago. ago? I still remember um, that, I still man. get people. It's funny. I've had somebody driving past and be like, hey, your knee was down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. You know, I appreciate it. Like, uh, <laughs> doesn't help me now. Right, right, right. right, right. Oh, you know? So I still, it happens quite often. I would say probably probably about four or five times a, a year I get it. Okay. Man, that's, yeah. Still. You know, still to this day, to this day. It, it, it's because it hurts, man. Like I it still remember because like, his knee was down. <laughs> it's, 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 that's what happens when you when you're an old man and you oh, try to make plays. And you, I just I, I just remember it was, you know something bad is gonna happen when you are in real life in reality, but then for some reason you start to see it in slow motion. Yeah, you I go, remember no. that. And I that's remember that's what happened to me when I saw it. I remember it. seeing Get someone. Down. Who's standing? Ne- who's sitting next to me? Run right past the tight end who she should have blocked, <laughs> and I get ear holed. That wasn't me. That was you. I was on the other side. No, it wasn't. You, you had ran this, this way. This I was coming I to your side. I caught on the left side and I was running right trying to cross field. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't believe you though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what was Brian really like? You know, give us the behind the scenes true story of what Brian was really like. This is what Brian is really like. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's not putting up any no, facades. This is not, him. Okay. He's not. This is Brian, one hundred percent. Yeah. Every now and again, he has a he has a sentimental, spiritual side. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you can get that through his social media because he'll put that out every now and again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. usually, what you see which is what you get with Brian. Yeah. It's one of the things I that tried. you have to respect about him because there's not a lot of, you know, smoke and mirrors. Yeah. So. I tried, man. I tried. Now but you know what? You know, Grandpa Grandpa B. <laughs> So we got Uncle B and we got Grandpa B. Yeah, do you want to explain Bro, what I'm this is? Yeah, yeah. So, so um, <laughs> whenever I had some issues or difficulties, whatever the case is, and I would go to Bronco and he didn't have time for me, he'd say, "Go to, go to, go to, go to Brandon." And I'm like, "Why? Why would I do that?" And he's like, "Cause he, cause he has wisdom, <laughs> you know." And he's like, "You see his gray hairs right there? So get a close up on this. See that? That's you call handsome right there. <laughs> <laughs> so gray hair means wisdom. Wisdom." Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Not knowledge is wisdom. So I call him. I call him Grandpa B. I mean, that's it's better than saying you know he's walk. He's walk. He walks with the limp. You know. That's my swag. So you know, yeah. Speaking of wisdom, let's let's pick your brain on this uh, this BYU team. Okay. Uh, the safeties have a new position coach in Preston Hadley. What does Preston bring to the table as a former Cougar safety? Um, grit. Right. Mm. Preston himself. I I mean, most people who know him. That would be the word I think that we use to describe him. Hard worker, never backs down, it's full goal, 100%, no matter the situation, no matter the time. Um, and I think that's something that the secondary has missed, you know, over the past couple of years. Um, whether it be from a coach, whether it be from a player, they just never had that guy that had that mindset, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Preston brings that. I think he brings that, that full throttle mentality. Um, and he'll hold them accountable for, yeah. for what they're supposed to be doing. And I think it'd be very beneficial for them in the long run. So, any Anybody that was coached under under Bronco, a Bronco defense, will hold anybody accountable. Kids, you know, right. co-worker, <laughs> co-workers, you know, don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but, right. but but talk, talk about the, the impact that you think he'll have uh, just from, like, a generation standpoint. So, I remember it was huge for me getting uh, my junior college coach. My second year, he was he was maybe ten years older than me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you coached, right? You right. had some opportunities to go and coach, and and you know, guys. Well, actually, you're a little bit different because you old. But, but you get you old, get my point. Of what I'm trying to say, what <laughs> impact do you think you know him being young and successful, um, and being able to relate to these kids? You know, uh, the type of impact it have. First of all, I'm only 33 years old. Oh, that's see, the first thing. We got like five moments. That's, <laughs> that's the first thing. You can't be saying first now, of all. going into your question, <laughs> going into your question, it's like you said. I feel like a lot of players, the closer you are in age to your coach, the more you feel like he understands you, right? He understands what you're going through. He understands your thought process. 
Um, so I think because of that, his players would be a little bit more willing to listen to what he has to say. He has to say, being that he's not too far removed from doing it himself. Mm. Um, and I think that in itself, right there, plays a big part in a trust between the player and coach. Now, as a coach, I tell you to do something. You trust me because you believe that I can do it, and I know how to do it because I've done it. And you're willing to put a lot more effort in in achieving that for me. One of the athletes that Preston will be in charge of getting the most out of is Troy Warner, mm -hmm. and because Warner is making the the move from corner to safety. First off, what's the biggest challenge in making that move? And what do you expect from a guy like Troy this year? I think the biggest challenge is the mental part of it. Is as a safety, now I have to make sure everyone is aligned, the call's correct. I need to you make actually sure. actually study. Right, I got to study film. <laughs> yeah, right? Watch film. I yeah. got to make sure I see what I need to see in order to put my corners in the right position. Um, I got to communicate what I see so they understand what I see. Um, and then I just have to be in a position to be able to make plays. And I think, like I said, I think the mental part of it is the most difficult part of it. Yeah. I expect him to do well. I've always looked at Troy as a safety, personally. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like physically the way he moves, he's, in my mind, he's always been more of a safety than a corner. Um, so I think the transition would be, should be smooth um, as far as the physical part goes. The mental part, I don't know, because he's never been in this situation. Yeah. So I don't know how well he'll handle having to digest all that information and then spread it with the rest of the defense. But I would think that he would do he would do pretty well because I think, you know, from what I was able to see as corner, he's he understands football pretty well. So I think that should be pretty smooth for him. So there so there's a lot of a lot of hype coming out of out of uh you know the program about the front uh seven and uh something that we didn't really have too much our our senior <laughs> year. Um but you know, usually when you have a, a good group up front, you know, you can you can bring the house, you could you know, blitz a little bit more, but you know, you always roll the dice when you got, you know, with your corners. And so, to me, from from what we've seen so far, I mean, you have you know Troy and Dion that are probably the best, you know, from an athletic standpoint, um, you know, defensive backs. Let's just call them right. defensive backs, not right. just corners, not just safeties. Um, so, I mean, if 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 a, if a coaching staff if they recognize this, wouldn't you, as a coach, right? Wouldn't you want to keep you know, your most athletic guys at corner and not safety? Because I feel like you don't have to be that athletic. Like, I kept trying to tell Coach to move you to safety, you know, and make <laughs> make Corby the starter. It's a true story. Make Corby, make Corby the starter, you know what I mean? So we can still get some more athleticism on the field, but yet, you know, we're not going to be giving up them 60-yard bombs. I'm going to go ahead and let you go now. <laughs> I don't remember giving up a 60-yard bomb ever <laughs> in my entire football career. Little league, high school, middle school, <laughs> college. I don't ever remember that. Um, That's because you're old, man. <laughs> no, so one of the things you said, Brian, is that it's trying to get the most athletic players on the field at once, mm -hmm. right? The more of those guys I have on the field, the better chance I have for them to make plays. Um, so sometimes I don't feel like it's he's better here or he's better than that player, but if I can have both of them on the field, why not put both of them on the field, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Um, and we, they, um, BYU with Bronco kind of went through that. Um, I think the year I was, I was a graduate assistant, yeah. you know, they went from their mindset of, okay, I need this person on the field because he understands, but this person right here by far is more athletic. With Lonnie and Spencer, right? Right. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So let's get both of them. Let's find a way to yeah. get both of them on the field J so I can have, a little bit. right, yeah, right. Yeah. So I can have the mental part of it as well as the athletic you know, part gotcha. of it. So most, um, a lot of times it's just I got to get my best players on the field. Gotcha. And sometimes I have to move positions and exchange positions in order to do that. And like you said, Joe was a prime example. Joe played everywhere. Everywhere. Corner, right. safety, nickel, right. blitz them, <laughs> linebacker. linebacker, everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But with him being able to do that, I can bring in another player to do something else, mm -hmm. right, that adds to my arsenal yeah. uh, as a, in my defensive scheme. So. High five, brother. That, you know makes me, that makes me feel good. All man. day, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he is Brandon Bradley, former <laughs> BYU defensive back, dropping some knowledge, being called old multiple times by Brian Logan. Hey, you know, it's the hey, great hair. Brandon, great stuff. Appreciate the time. Thanks for coming no in on Memorial Anytime. Day. And uh, we'll let you get back Anytime. to your family and, okay. and your day. Appreciate right. the time. Thanks for having me.